how are you doing? It's me! I'm alive! The situation right now is kind of dire. As you can see, I'm back in my home bedroom. Well, there is a very long story and I'm sure it will all be revealed to you soon. It might be to do with moving again. If I had a penny for every single time I've moved, I'm sure I would literally be retiring because I'd be so rich. But we're not gonna talk about that. That's not what today's video is about. Today, we are going to be doing a lovely little haul. I'm so excited to be doing another haul. Honestly, I've been saving my money so much recently and I just have not been online shopping. I have not been doing anything. Stonks. But I have a very exciting upcoming trip, which you guys will be definitely in the know about. So I spent hours, and when I say hours, I mean like literally half my life expectancy on ASOS, trying to find some cute little pieces. And I'm honestly really surprised at how little I found. We are starting this one off with a bang. I have been eyeing up this piece for honestly so long on ASOS. And as soon as I knew I was gonna be purchasing some stuff on there, I was like, we're gonna have to go for this. It's this gorgeous little white lace number and I'm so excited to try it on. It has a really exposed back part, but I'm kind of here for the little bit of skin. And it just gave me like such Zimmerman vibes when I saw it on ASOS and I was like, we are here for the dupe Zimmerman vibe right now because ain't nobody gonna be spending a grand on a co-ord piece from there because, um, hello, not rich. This is what the top looks like on. And I was a bit worried because I have gained a little bit of weight recently. I was worried this wasn't gonna fit me. But it does, and it wasn't too much of a squeeze, so very, very happy with that. And then the bottom part is this gorgeous, like, flowy skirt. It's got these cute little buttons down the middle, and obviously it's, like, the continued lace. And I love the length on this. It's quite modest. It's not too, like, mm, look at me, I've got my bum out, because we know that I'm not a fan of that. So, yeah, the skirt is so cute as well and if you wanted to you could always roll it up a little if it's a bit too long for you but i think it's such a perfect length and the two together is just incredible i think with like the pop of pink accessories it's gonna look amazing and i'm so so here for it for my trip okay so the next piece is so 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 adorable i love the material on this oh my god like it looks so long oh my god i can't even hold it <laughs> But it's got this gorgeous tie in the middle and it's long sleeved and very swishy. I'm feeling the swishy vibes for 2022. I don't want to be standing here like a penguin waddling across the room. I kind of want to feel a bit like a Disney princess. Yeah, it's such a gorgeous like flowy material and it's kind of got like elements of like a shirt dress because it's got these sort of bits where you can button them up a bit like a blouse and i just have a thing for long sleeve dresses like i don't know what it is and of course the old cinching at the waist part where you can tie stuff up is also another classic and it always will be and i just think it's such a gorgeous elegant piece and i'm so so excited to wear this oh my gosh the next piece is a little bit of a wild card i always have a wild card in these hauls you know me come on so it's essentially this skirt and it's called a kilt online when i think kilt i think of like scotland i think of bagpipes i think of like checkers material i think of christmas i don't really know why but to be honest it's more of a tennis skirt vibe than a kilt in my opinion but maybe it's because it's got the ties i don't know i'm not like qualified in kilt making so i couldn't tell you but it's this really cute like pinky toned brown yeah, I really like the idea of this tie because it just gives it like an extra layer of detail. Right, so the next piece is something that's been absolutely flooding my Instagram. And I was just like, if I don't buy this, I am going to regret my entire existence. So it's this absolutely incredible puff sleeved dress and it's quite tight, but like not at the bottom. So, you know, that penguin mode where you have to like waddle that I was talking about. This isn't that kind of dress. I just love the whole quality, the whole vibe of this dress. It's so, so cute. And the little belt around it with the pearls is just incredible. Could I speak any better of this dress? No. 
I'm so lucky that I got on this as soon as I did because I think on ASOS at least it's pretty much sold out in my size now. I honestly love like the pattern on it. It's really like regal feeling. The details make it like more modern, but it's still very classic at the same time, which it's literally my personality in a nutshell. So yeah, absolutely obsessed with this. So the next two purchases were actually shoes. I've got a lot of lovely shoes and they're very much like high-end stuff like Stuart Weitzman, Tory Burch, like stuff like that. And I want stuff that I can wear and walk around in without feeling like I have to protect my shoes at all costs. So this is the first pair. <laughs> They are everything that I could embody in a pair of shoes, like... So they are slightly higher than what I would usually go for because I don't like being super tall. I am five foot four, which is relatively small, but I don't actually like being like five foot eight, nine. It kind of like scares me being that tall, I don't really know. But yeah, so they are quite big, but it kind of screams elegant tall to me. Because you know, you have like those shoes that are like platform and like gigantic and they're just like ridiculous like how does anyone even wear those but these are probably the highest kind of heel that i would go for but everything about the detailing is literally incredible like i love the strap around the ankle i love this detailing here where you can kind of see more of the foot and it's round toe which is my absolute favorite style of shoe i don't like pointed shoes at all because so i don't want to feel like an elf i do kind of like square depends if well I'm still coming around to the idea of them, so... Right, so the last pair of shoes and the last item in this haul is these white sandals, right? These I'm still slightly undecided about, I can't lie, because of what I was just talking to you about. I didn't realise they were kind of like circular and square. She hates being picked up, but she's so cute. Yeah, anyways, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so these are square and circular. They're kind of like not as square as those like Zara heels. Are you finished? Anyway, for the third time, these aren't as square as like the Zara heels that I've seen, but they are still kind of square and I'm not sure if I like them or not. It's probably something that's gonna have to grow on me a little longer, I would say. And also, it has like this black sole and black underneath, which I'm not, again, entirely keen on, but they could grow on me. These are cute and I do like them, but I just don't know if they're for me. So that's the only downside, to be honest, of this whole haul, in my opinion. But yeah, so that has been my ASOS haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm really sorry again for the weird setup and the fact I'm literally in the other side of my room and we've been dealing with natural light the whole video, but if you've got this far, then I'm eternally grateful for you sticking with my absolutely horrendous job at setting up my filming situation. If you have enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. Check the description for anything you might wanna cop for yourself. Honestly, treat yourself, you deserve it. I see you working hard there. I can see you right through the screen. Yeah, you. If you want the memes, you want the fashion, you want the vibes, you want the girly content, you want all of it, then come subscribe, come and join the family. Let's do this. Right, goodbye, I'm going now. I love you, bye. <laughs>